What's up everybody? In this video I'm going to show you the 5 best ways to organize materials in Blender 2.8. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button at the end of the video, it really means a lot. Number 1. Using Blender Embedded Editors. Once you have selected an object, you can go in the properties of the object, clicking on this tab, in the Properties Editor, and then you can see a material assigned to the object and clicking into this menu you will see all of the objects that have been created and are present in the scene. From here you can create new material, you can add multiple material to the object, as well as in the property editor you can edit your material and select your material selecting shader editor and then you have here all the material again is the same menu is the same icon you can recognize the icon and the slots are actually this one so if you add another material here you have slot 2 and then you can assign the second material to the same object another place where you can find all of your material it's actually the outliner certainly clicking on your model you can see what material is assigned to each single geometry but if you change the display mode from layer which is the default one to blender file you can scroll through materials and you will see all of your material so these are all the material in the scene and from here you can select them all delete them all you can rename them easily it's much much quicker than going one by one here also if you want to rename the material from here for example you have to select the material and if you select the material you are gonna assign the material to the object even if temporary so what you want is a system where you can easily go into the folder see all the material and decide what to do with this material organize the material from here rename them if you want delete the one you don't want let's say that you created a number of materials that you are not using like this one temp and you have your scene crowded with a lot of material. First of all, you can delete them from here if you know which one you want to delete. But if you go in Orphan Data, you can see automatically which is the material not assigned to any object. And if you want to delete it, you can just delete it from here, for example, or right click and delete. And that material is gone from your scene. There's no orphan data anymore, the blender file is gone, here it's not showing, it's gone, it's clean. Number 2. Using Material Library VX. Included with Blender 2.82 I'm using right now, there's a nice add-on called Material Library VX, so I suggest to enable this add-on and you can find in the usual property window a new section called material library vx now here is pretty intuitive you can create your own library and add all the material that then will appear in every single project you use you have templates and you have also a sample material library that you can use as base for your projects you can add more material to it if you don't want to create a new library, you can use the same library. It's available to all of your projects. And then you can quickly select your object, select the material. You can preview the material if you want. It's not yet assigned. You're just previewing the material right now. And if you like it, apply to select it object. And it's done. Now, the quality of this material is not amazing but it's very very good they are free they come included with blender and they are a perfect starting point for any project really and you can also set the material in different category for example ceramic it will only show the ceramic material or for example glass and will only show the glass so the library it's quite handy it's quite well made and it's solid and it's included with Blender. So this is my library of choice. Number three, using Blender Kit. Blender Kit has been added to Blender 2.82. 2 
So you can just enable Blender Kit. In your 3D window, you will find the Blender Kit section. You need the login. In this case, you can download and also store your assets, not only material, but also model into your space into Blender Kit. So the free plan allows you to download a number of assets and also to upload the number of assets. Now I clicked on free and you see it start appearing a lot of different assets, but what we need is material. So I click on material now and I have a number of categories and let's start with something easy like rock. It will start downloading material from Blender Kit. It will show in the window. You can decide the size and the number of material to preview here. And then, as easy as it gets, you select the material, you just drag it on the model you want to change. And after you finish loading, you have your material assigned. It's very cool. Even the free version allows you to use a lot of different materials, has plenty of assets to play with, and I really, really suggest you to make an account to store your own assets. There's also the chance to sell your own assets. Not all the material on Blender Kit are procedural. You can anyway explore all the content of the material. For instance, here we have a few texture. Because of this, you need some time, some tweaking of the UV scale. A green line will show the material that are in the scene that you already downloaded. So you don't have to download them again. The change between material is quite fast. But again, these are only the material that you have online. So if you want your material to appear here, you need a login and you need to upload your material. And it's easy enough. You have then a filter where you will have only your asset. So if you create your library of model and material and then upload them on Blender Kit, you can retrieve them easily. Downside, you need to be online. If you're watching this video, you're probably online. So there should be no problem for this. Number four, using material utilities. Another great utilities added to the bundle of add-on with Blender 2.82, it's Material Utilities. This add-on can be used in conjunction with any other add-on for material we've seen, and it works in a very simple way. Right-click on the object you need, there's Material Utilities, and here you can see you have an assigned material where you have all of your material in the scene with a small preview, so it's quite handy. Another thing that you can do from here is select by material. So you select all the objects that have this material. Let's enable the overlay here. And let's say that I want to select all the objects that are using this specific material. So I'll do right click and then I select by material. I know that that color is this one. And here we have it. all selected at the same time. That means that I can now while they are all selected, assign a completely different material to all of them at the same time. It's basically a quick way to replace a material with another material. You have also a number of other utilities here. For example, you can set straight away from here the auto smooth. It's much faster going from here. You select an angle, set smooth, and then it's done instead of clicking on shade smooth and then going into the normals and select auto smooth. Don't forget now that you have a number of material, we were playing with different libraries, but we are only using a small number of materials. So we have all of this material, but we are only use the one starting with MB, for example. So we can go to orphan data and then forge. I still have some of the texture because the first thing that get purged is the material as the images are children of the material so if you want to remove also the images that are loaded in your project you go again and will eliminate any children now if you go back to blender file you will see that you have only the material we're using number five 
Blender Mada. It's an online system. It works with an add-on that you need to download from the website. It works with 2.8 and higher, or so it says on the website. Unfortunately, on the GitHub, there's a lot of complaint and my complaint is there too, because it stopped working. So I couldn't make it work with the latest version of Blender 2.82 and I hope there will be an update soon. The library of material is quite extensive. Not all the material are great. They are not as good as Blender Kit, but the interface is different and may be a very good way to learn for many people. If you like some of the material, some of the material are actually pretty cool and useful. You can download them from the website for free. They will be saved as a Blender file and then you can add them on your own library. For example, the library uh, VX or Blender Kit. So let's hope Blender Mada will be back with more material, maybe more material for EV2. But in the meanwhile, you can still enjoy the material and save them on your own library. Thanks so much for watching, I hope this video shed some light on the topic, let me know in the comment below which is the way you store materials in your Blender projects. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like or share the video with your friends, click the subscribe button and notification bell, it really helps the channel and myself to publish more content like this. Thank you, ciao.